Hey guys, what's going on? So right now we have the most hyped news, at least for me, uh, that are, that's coming out, and that is the new Super Saiyan 3 Bardock. The new Super Saiyan 3 Bardock has been announced from the official Dokkan Battle Twitter page from the JP side. I'm so hyped. I am so hyped. For this card i cannot wait i'm going to be going for him unfortunately it's going to be like around 3 a.m my time uh, eastern time before this actually this banner goes live so that's actually going to come out let's see i'm recording this around 11 p.m so about four hours by the time the video goes up it's probably going to be three two and a half to three hours uh, but he's going to be live. I will be doing summonings, and chances are I'm going to have a video up for you midday tomorrow on my summonings to see if I can get him because I'll be doing it first thing in the morning. So, apologizing if I sound a little bit groggy and not enthusiastic in the morning, uh, but I'm going to be doing it tomorrow morning as soon as I get up. With that being said, this guy is such an awesome card. We had a lot to talk about because there's a lot of stuff going on. We actually got some new Dokken Awakenings also, so that's pretty cool. Um, before we go, I want to before I go into the actual review, I want to do a cheap plug real quick. So I just went and created a brand new channel. It's called Anime Gaming. Now this isn't going to be like my typical Dokkan station. My Dokkan station is what I do when it comes to full in-depth information about Dokkan battle. That includes like team building guides, news release information, a little bit of gameplay, a lot of summoning. Um, uh, everything Dokkan Battle and very in-depth stuff. This station is going to encompass all of the other uh, games that I play. Um, it, that includes Bleach, Brave Souls, the new Naruto game, which I'm not really big on that, but I do play it. Uh, the Naruto X Baruto, uh, Baruto game, which is a lot of fun, actually, and I've been playing that a lot more often than not. So this station is going to be more of a... Probably you'll get about one video a day of me just playing different games, doing a lot, of, a little bit of gameplay. If a new banner comes out, some summonings and stuff like that. Um, I'm going to leave a link down in the description below. If you want to start following, if you think you're going to be interested in something like that, go ahead, hit that link and subscribe. I need to hit at least 100 subscribers so that way I can create my own custom URL. But um, I plan on at least starting up a new station. Uh, videos will not start getting uploaded that, to that for at least another week and a half. So uh, just note that I won't have any actual videos. But if you think you're going to be interested in any type of anime, mobile gaming, stuff like that, I might also do some console gaming. But uh, we'll see how that works out because that's going to that, that takes up a lot of time doing console gaming and doing mobile gaming alone is a lot of work. <laughs> but um, yeah, cheap plug. Just want to talk about that. Well, let's go ahead and talk about the actual news. So uh, before we go on, shout out to the Reddit, shout out to DBZ.Space. We're going to be taking all of our information from here. So thank you all for all the information that you have provided. Um, over here, we're talking about the new 11 events that are coming on the JP side of Dokkan Battle. Treasure Seeking Adventure Campaign. Uh, login bonuses with Dragonstones, medals, training items, and more rewards. It's the typical stuff that comes along when it comes in when it comes down to uh, the new Dokkan Fests. Treasure Gem missions are going to be available. Uh, we'll, we're not going to go too deep into that, but there are going to be new Treasure Gem uh, that, that is available. Dokkan Fest with a countdown... Oh, we have a countdown timer. I thought it was going to be like uh, one of the... <laughs> it kind of freaked me out, actually. I thought it was going to be like a step-up summon type of thing that we just had with the Gogeta and um, Janemba banners. Super Saiyan 3 Bardock Dokkan Fest. And it has the Angel Golden Frieza alongside him. So you have a chance to get two nice category leads. For those of you who have not... Who have not gone and done the agility Super Saiyan 3 Goku banner? That Super that, uh, Angel Golden and Frieza will make your team for you and will make it easier so that way you can take on that event. Uh, number four, Dokken event where you'll be able to get the medals to Dokken Awaken Super Saiyan 3 Bardock. Very awesome. Gotcha. Super Saiyan 3 category GSSR banner. GSSR Super Saiyan 3 banner. We don't know what's actually going to be encompassed. At least I don't know uh, at this point. I didn't actually look into it, but we're going to cover it when it comes out. So, Super Saiyan 3 category GSSR. How awesome is that a guaranteed super saiyan 3 oh and there's so many good so many of them that are good i don't know what i'm gonna do on the jp side i really don't know uh baba shop reset is going to be uh the section has to do with the treasure gems that have been reset so the treasure gems are going to be reset second world tournament which we're not going to cover here it looks like we're getting a new tn which is going to be cool uh one that actually you know we're going to open that up in a different tab we might talk about that in a, for in a second Story events, Great Saiyan Man story events are going to return. Resurrection of F uh, story event returns. Dragon Stone Stale, it's not a super sale, so it looks like it's just a normal sale. <laughs> um, a not a Z sale? <laughs> I don't know. And three time rank experience request mode. Uh, Baba Treasure Gems, daily clear a quest stage times one. Uh, quest stage 5, 10, up to 50 times, and you get all these different gems. Uh, the new TN card will could either be an LR card. card if it's going to come in this world tournament, or he would be a normal top 10k reward. We don't know yet. Uh, so we're going to have to figure that out. So I'm going to go over here and... Uh, actually, I think that's it. Um, 
yeah. So let's go over here actually real quick. Okay, so that just look. Oh, it's gonna be the TM with the four arms. That's actually really cool. I love that. I was been waiting for a card like that of him to come up. Uh, so that's gonna be really awesome, guys. A TN with four arms. Will you? If he is going to be a grindable one from the World Tournament, will you go for him? Me, JP, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that grind on the JP side, but global I may, because that looks pretty awesome. But when that card comes uh, available and more information about it, I'll definitely do a review, so stay tuned for that. Make sure to subscribe to get that information. Uh, next one we're going to go into is the next post. We're actually going to go ahead and close out of a couple things over here, uh, just so that way I can, you know, let the browser load. <laughs> uh, this is the data download with all the information about the new, the new cards that are coming out. We have the Super Saiyan 3 Bardock, the TUR, and the SSR variant. The Super Saiyan 3 Agility SR Bardock Doken Wakens now. And by the way, I did check out the stats on this card. He's a really good card when he Doken Wakens. For all you global players, even the JP guys, who are probably watching this because you want to know what's happening, um, I would definitely recommend getting him to Super Tech 10 and getting four dupes fully re ready to Doken Awaken. Because this guy looks like he's going to be a card where you're probably going to end up wanting to um, uh, get some dupe system into him. Uh, we also have the new Super Saiyan 3, well, not the new, a new tokening for the Super Saiyan 3 Agility Goku, the Kid Goku that was on the, um, that we've been waiting for him to token wake, and we were kind of hoping he was going to get the Great Ape thing, so that way he could be Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta's best linking buddy, but, um, unfortunately, I don't think, he, I'm pretty sure he doesn't have a, uh, uh, the Great Ape Lincoln, uh, when he got Doken Awaken. But we also have the Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta, STR Doken Awaken, the same as Goku. Uh, we're going to go over, uh, their passives in a little bit as well. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and talk about it right now. The basic stuff over here. Super Saiyan 3 Bardock to be released. The SSR variant is, oh sorry, the, uh, the Intelligence one. When he Doken Awakens, immense damage, medium chance to seal. Personally, I did say this on the Facebook group, I think that it should be guaranteed. Why would he get more powerful and have less of a chance to seal? I guess that would make him too OP. But I think they're just doing that with all the super attack abilities on these category leaders. But whatever, I feel like he should just always seal because he's getting more powerful in all of his other forms, except for like one or two. Don't I think? Yeah, no, only the, the, the only the agility one doesn't seal. <laughs> so um, yeah, I don't understand why they did that medium chance. But anyway, leader ability: Super Scene Three Category Lead Key Plus Three, HP plus 130 percent, Attack and Defense plus 170 percent. That's what I like to see. Oh, this is gonna be so awesome. And and super intelligence type super this is a very unique card now because i believe this is the first one that does it uh with uh the actual typing between super and extreme correct me if i'm wrong uh down in the comments below but this is super intelligence type key plus three hp attack and defense plus 90 percent so yo like super gogeta is going to be available to run on this team with the, with the hp attack and defense plus 90 percent that's 180 percent with a double super saiyan three lead this this is gonna be oh i can't i can't even i cannot wait for this to come to global, you have no idea. Passive ability, attack and defense, plus 100% on the super attack, which is really awesome. And if HP is 70% or below, all allies gain an additional 40% attack. That includes him. So that would be 140% attack when his HP is 70% or level. Now, here's the thing. 70% or below, you're really dealing with like a 30% margin of when his super attack is going to get that additional buff. Now, it doesn't state whether it's going to be at the beginning of the turn or if it's just at the, like active. So I don't know at this time if you can go and use a Sensu Bean on him and then the, the buff would go away. Uh, we'll have to wait to find out how that's gonna work. But uh, attack and defense plus 100% makes him a very good tanker, especially with the fact that his, uh, his uh, attack and defense uh, already goes up by 170% and you times that by two and you get that 340%, that's 440%, not even taking into considering link skills for his attack. And it, he has a lot of attack link skills. Oh, I'm so happy. Uh, link skills, oh, here we go. Uh, Saiyan, uh, Super Saiyan Veteran Warrior over in a flash, limit-breaking form. First awakened, fierce battle, and ready for war, prepared for battle. So this guy has the optimal link skill set. It is, oh, um, this guy is so insane. I love it. I'm sorry, I'm just super hyped. Bardock's my favorite character. And this card is so phenomenal. You have no idea, like, how awesome this is to me. So I'm going for him so hard. Uh, anyway, uh, new phrasing. Uh, Super Saiyan 3 Bardock Agility, the SSR, the Dokkan variant. Um, we're not going to go over the stats. Super Attack is Supreme Damage now, which is really good. Reduces enemy defense, which is kind of meant. I kind of feel like they should have given him the seal. Uh, Would have been nice. Super Saiyan 3 Category, Leader Ability, Key plus 2, HP Attack and Defense plus 40%. Kind of stinks, but um, you know it's good for those of you who really like the Super Saiyan 3 Category team and you're trying to run this. So it's going to be really good against the Broly event. Oh man, the Broly event. I can't wait to take that on if I pull him. Uh, attack plus 80% when performing a super attack. Attack plus 80% in old L uh, SR 
an old SR that was gar well, sort of garbage. He kind of was garbage. He was better for like the old school days, but like he's garbage. 80% attack buff, and he gives himself an additional defense of 80% for the first five turns. Can you look at how awesome this is? Oh. Super Saiyan over in a flash, limit breaking form, fierce battle, and veteran warrior are his link abilities. So that's phenomenal. I love it. Um, I think that was, uh, okay, yeah, we have that stuff over there for the other guys. So we're going to go ahead and talk about them as well. While I do that, I'm going to go ahead and actually move this over to the other side. So this is the card art. Look how awesome this card art is. This is his Undokan form. I can't wait. I just can't wait. He looks so awesome right here, and he has the blood-stained bandana and everything. Then he Doken Awakens, and he actually, let's go over here and get all these tabs to load just to make sure. Um, so yeah, his Doken Awaken form looks so awesome as well. There he is. He's getting ready to do some... Oh, it looks like he has blades in his hand. Now, I didn't play um, any of the other games where he went Super Saiyan 3. I believe... I don't... I, I forgot where he went Super Saiyan 3. I think he did in the Xenoverse, and I'm pretty sure he did in Heroes. Let me know down in the comments below which game, because I didn't play... I haven't played console games in years. Um, I do have Xenoverse and Xenoverse 2. I just kind of, like, beat the story, and I stopped playing. But this looks phenomenal. It looks like he has two blades in his hands right now. That is so awesome. Um, anyway... Yeah, and this is the agility one. It looks like he has two blades in his hand as well. That's such nice artwork. He's just ready to, to destroy people. Like, if you saw him looking at you like that, ready to charge, and he charges at you, you're going to, like, have a heart attack. He'll die before he even hits you. Um, we have the Super Saiyan 3 Goku. He's getting a Doken Awakening, by the way, guys. I know I did mention this early. This is the card that he is. He is going to Doken Awaken into this guy, which it looks like his name is going to be Spirit of Offense. I don't know how the heck that's actually going to get translated on the global side. Um, but let's talk about it. His new ability is going to be Aggressive Spirit. Um, leader ability, all types, HP, attack, and defense, plus 60%. Let's go ahead and actually pull it up a little bit more for you so that way you can see it better. Uh, HP, attack, and defense, plus 60% up. His super attack, Super Kamehameha, deals supreme damage and raises his attack for three turns, which is kind of meh. Passive skill, willpower on the battlefield. Attack and defense, plus 90% up at the start of the turn, which is really cool. Um, yeah, uh... So Supreme damage with attack raise for three turns with that attack buff of 90%, which is, it's all right. Um, he's, he'll be cool on the Super Saiyan 3 team. If you were trying to run more agility units, let's say you're going up against an event that requires you to have more strength units, I guess, or going up against strength units, I guess. Um, link skills are Golden Warrior, Super Saiyan, Limit Breaking Form, Fierce, uh, fierce Battle, Over in a Flash, Kamehameha, and GT. Uh, again, I really wish when they gave him his Doken Awakening that he Doken Awakened into, like, with Saiyan... Well, he wouldn't have Saiyan Pride, but um, with, like, uh, the Saiyan Roar and they gave him the ability to transform. That would have been so awesome. Anyway, um, the next one is going to be the Vegeta. So this is the Vegeta we're talking about. This is the GT Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta who is now getting a Doken Awakening. He's pretty cool. Unit attack and defense plus 70% when HP is 30% or above. He Doken Awakens into this guy, and this guy looks so awesome. Um... He is all types now, key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 30% up. Super attack is final flash, deals supreme damage to the enemy, and raises defense by 30% for 3 turns. So he is a defensive unit, unlike the uh, the Goku who is an offensive unit, he's more defensive. His passive skill is bursting key, attack and defense plus 90% at the start of the turn. So they, he removed the restrictive of 30% or, or above, and they gave him an additional 20% to both attack and defense, so he will attack a lot nicer now. Um... When, or he'll defend a lot nicer now well, with that buff. So that's going to make him really nice on the Super Saiyan 4 Goku team if you're running him on there. Plus, he's good, obviously, on the Super Saiyan 3 team. Uh, and he's just going to have that, that awesome defense, man. That awesome defense. Link skills are Super Saiyan Limit Breaking Form, Golden Warrior, Fierce Battle, GT, Royal Lineage, Prodigies. So we are all set. I, I'm so hyped, man. Um, I'm sorry. I know I keep on saying that. I don't mean to, like, oversell it because I'm not trying to sell you anything. I'm just really happy about this. Uh, Alright, cool, and we have one more thing over here that I had. Um, okay, yeah, this is just for the, for the actual banner and the event. So we do have the Golden Frieza over here. Again, shout out to the Reddit. And we also have the information. This is all on dbz.space, by the way, so you can go over there and see the uh, event information that's coming out. It, I believe it got released in-game uh, on, the, on the JP side. So if you go in and look at the news, it's probably there. It just looks a little bit different. Um, real quick, we're going to go ahead and I'm going to show you the video clip. And yes, guys, this time I'm going to actually download the video clip and import it into my editor so that way it doesn't get all choppy. So uh, let's go ahead and watch it.
All right, so I actually have to open this up in VLC player. I didn't actually watch it up until this point, and the, the whole website started crapping out on me. But let me tell you, how awesome was that super attack, guys? Like, my favorite part has to be this. Oh, not that. This, right here. Where he just goes great ape. Look at that power up. He just gets his, he gets ready. He starts the, the go. He starts to throw the punch, and then the great ape throws the punch with him. Ooh, that was actually a really nice clip right there. Look at that. And the great ape is just ready, ready to throw the actual punch. How awesome. I'm so ready for this card. I am so ready for this. Not to mention they also have, like, the, the, the two blades. I kind of wish they did more with that because the end is kind of, like, anticlimactic like that. It ends with an X. I mean, like, that that's a little bit more anticlimactic for my for my taste, but it's awesome, man. I can't wait for this card. I'm I, I'm going so hard. <laughs> but, um, yeah, guys, that is the Super Saiyan 3 Bardock card. I will definitely be doing a whole bunch of information about that. I'm super hyped for that to actually come out. Uh, also, make sure to go over here to the Dokkan underscore official page on Twitter and follow them because they have all the latest information on Dokkan Battle. And my, my, my browser just kind of all messed up on me. Uh, but anyway, guys, thank you for joining me here today. Uh, make sure to subscribe if you're new, and I'll catch you guys down in the comments below. Peace.